today I'm going to be proving to you how you can gain exponential amounts of power, experience, and growth inside of Diablo Immortal every single week just by holding on to your progression points for your battle pass and for your rewards inside of the game until Monday. Let's start and dive into this right here. As of right now, it's Sunday night. I'm going to be going to bed very soon and I wanted to record the beginning of this video so you can have a peek of what Sunday night looks like. Then we're going to fast forward to Monday morning and you can see the difference. As it sits right now, Sunday night, I'm 849 Paragon. As you can see, we have the red line, the arrow down, and the server Paragon level is 840. I'm only receiving 30% of any rewards that I claim right now at this point in time. If I claim 100 points worth of progression, I will only get 30 of those points because I am 9 levels above the server Paragon. Now, tomorrow, in just a moment inside of the video as we fast forward time, I will be getting 100 plus rewards because the server paragon level will jump to 850 and with me at 849 i will be one paragon below paragon level so i will be getting a hundred percent plus rewards for anything that i claim now let's take a look here at what i plan to claim in the morning as we take a look over here i have saved up everything from my battle pass. As you can see, we've got Elder Rift rewards, the Haradrim rewards, Bestiary rewards, my dungeon runs, Temple of Namari, it's essentially the only dungeon that I run, rewards, Fractured Plane, Heliquary, Accursed Towers, Battlegrounds, and my bounties. These have been saved up all week. This should get me, plus other things that I'm gonna share with you in a moment, approximately 10 levels on my battle pass. So I'm sitting right now at level 13. I should get to level 23 approximately, or that's at least my rough guess without doing any hard math right now. Now, keep in mind, I do claim my quest progression. This came across my Discord server earlier today, and it's worth noting, if you don't claim your progression and your rewards here on quests, you won't have new quests populate. So when these come, I do collect them, they do progress my battle pass, and they help my progression. But with even without being able, or without claiming anything so far this week, I've already gotten myself to nine levels above Paragon, which I have to say is pretty impressive. People that are able to keep themselves above Paragon are pretty solid players inside of the game. They play a lot, but these aren't the only rewards that I have because, of course, we have also been saving up our mail. Inside of the mail, I have assembly rewards and shadow war rewards for the entire week. Remember, when you go to your assembly, you give your four blessings and you receive the four blessings and instead of collecting them, just leave. These rewards will come to your mail and I'm going to wait until Monday, just a few moments from now, to collect all of these. So the 865,000 Paragon points, instead of those being worth about 200,000 points right now of experience because I am 30 levels or getting a only 30% buff or a 30% reward from anything I earn, I'm gonna be getting nearly 900 to 100 or a million XP from this because I waited until this experience is worth more. So I'm very curious to see what it looks like and see we have shadow weekly rewards, uh, assembly rewards. So the shadow rewards, they're also gonna include some legendaries, which is great, and also the experience, which is why we're holding on to it. Anything that I can hold and get experience from, well, I'm going to do just that. So I'm very curious to see how far I could both progress the battle pass as well as how far I can gain my level as far as my Paragon goes. I'm 849 right now. Progressing my battle pass 10 or so assumed levels that I'm going to be able to progress just in a few hours from now because of the Paragon boost inside of the game every single Monday, because it goes up 10 levels every Monday, I'm wondering to see how high into the 850s will I be able to go. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head on out, we're gonna go on to our next day, Monday, and we're gonna see what my account looks like Monday. 
and now we're back. It's Monday morning and there's a few things that we need to take note of. Check out the bar on the bottom of the screen. It's now green. The server paragon has been reset and as we can see, it's now sitting at 850 if you recall it was just 840 a little bit ago i'm now instead of receiving 30 percent rewards i'm receiving 110 percent rewards because i am one level below the server paragon just from waiting a couple of hours for monday to come and the server paragon to be reset so let's get to the test that we said that we had that was to collect these battle pass points and to take a look at all of the things that we have in our mail that are going to be able to give us xp how much can we actually gain the test is on we're going to do this right now as you can see we're sitting at battle pass level 13. I took a guess that we could gain 10 levels of battle pass. Let's see what we can do. We're going to claim these as we go. 360 right here. Nice. We got another small 60. Check this out. 672 just from my bounties. We're gaining paragon levels as well. Look at that. We went up two paragon levels, which means I upgraded now above the, par the server paragon level again. 96 another level that was three levels here is 460 notice the bar on the bottom of the screen is red again we're going to get 200 here from heliquary another level of battle pass fractured plane rewards we'll take that battle pass level 24 a cursed tower purification rewards battleground rewards as you can see we didn't have a ton of that up to 25. Also, while we were doing all this, that bar on the bottom of the screen, it turned red and it moved up a bunch of times. Now, what else I wanna do here is I wanted to go over to my mail and we wanted to see what we have over here. Oh, we got our solo challenge rift rewards. We'll take those. That's just uh, unclaimed assembly rewards. There's some experience right here. We're gonna grab that. Another Paragon level. Weekly rewards, remember right here on this one, we're sitting with the 811,000 XP. We're gonna collect that. More unclaimed assembly rewards. Now remember, as we get higher up in Paragon level, we're starting to earn less and less for these rewards again, right? So we're gonna collect all of these. Now I'm not getting that 110% anymore, being that I'm a few levels above Paragon is again. Here we go, more XP. This is also gonna be giving me a bunch of stuff that's gonna help out in other areas of the game as well. Things that I was kind of holding myself back with. No, we're not going to do the lair right now. There we go. Server Paragon 854. That's my Paragon level right now. I'll eventually go back and delete all those. So let's take a look really quickly again at... Not this. We want to take a look over here. And I'm 854. The Server Paragon level is 850. I'm now only going to receive 60% of the rewards, and I'm four levels above Paragon. And remember, if you recall, I was one level below, so I've gained five Paragon levels just from collecting these rewards. First thing, I just woke up, didn't do anything but collect rewards that I made throughout last week. Let's take a look at the Battle Pass. Also got a couple of legendaries there we can unlock. Now, if we take a look at the battle pass, we can come and collect all of these rewards. We got to level 25. So let's count how many levels we went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 levels. I was down by two. I said we would have about 10. We got more than that. We got 12. So we're gonna come here, collect all these rewards as well. This is gonna be nice beautiful a new emote maybe a charm that's actually for the blood knight all of our goodies right here we'll take everything now the good thing here is all the hilts remember i was kind of short a little shy on hilts all week because i was never collecting any of these but now there's some legendary crest as well a fervent fang gem but now we're going to be all set with our hilts and be able to pick up the rare crest that i like to buy every single day from the hilts trader there we go. A couple more hilts here. Aspirin keys. We go for tourmaline every time. And man, it, it kind of feels good. Like you miss collecting things during the week, but it feels good 
when you collect them on a Monday. Now, if we would anticipate that we have something very similar next week, that should be taking us to level 35 or 36 of the Battle Pass, almost completing it by the time we're here again next Monday. So I think it's been proven here, guys, that we do see a massive increase in power waiting and holding on to our rewards from the week just because we were waiting until Monday. Every single Monday, our server Paragon jumps 10 levels, and we need to take advantage of that by holding our rewards until then, just to optimize and min-max the game. Is it the biggest deal in the world? No. But if you want to try and be as smart with your upgrades as you can, this is a way to do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you tried it out yourself. Let me know your comments and your thoughts in the comments below.